Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Franz here with five minutes or less of living grace. I want to talk to you about the grace of giving and how God has tremendously blessed not only our church, but all churches that are preaching the gospel, especially prior to, during, and now soon to be after this COVID season. You know, there's a text in the Bible that uh, says, give and it shall be given unto you. Give and it shall be given unto you, not give so it can be given unto you. We'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. But do you not know that that text has zero to do with money, although it applies to money because it's a principle of sowing and, and reaping. And what we noticed here during this season is that God tremendously blessed our church even greater than what things were like prior to COVID. I guess that should not be a surprise considering the Bible says, and we know that all things work together for the good, even COVID, not for everybody, but for them that love God and those that are called according to his grand and glorious purpose. Well, there's a text that uh, we uh, locked into, and that's that text in Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. And do you not know that that text has zero to do with money? If you look at the context of it, it really speaks about uh, doing those things that are right and not doing those things that are wrong. Not doing those things that you don't want to be done to you. You don't want anyone to, con uh, anyone to condemn you. You don't want anyone to judge you. And when you don't condemn and you don't judge, you won't be. But then the text shifts and says, and also give. And when you give, it shall be given unto you. If you give love, it will come back to you in the measure that you give it. If you give forgiveness, it will come back to you in greater measure than you gave. And did not God do that with us with the grace of God? Oh my God, he gave back to us what we don't deserve, what, what we don't even and can't even think of earning. And so that principle was one that was so very important to us to grasp and to embed in the hearts of our parishioners, whether they were online, through the stream, or whether they were those that few, the few that did come based upon the restrictions of COVID. And do you not know, because of the heart of the people of God, that we were able to secure resources that we could not afford? We were able to give these resources away to hundreds and thousands. Did you hear me? Hundreds and thousands of people. And through multiple churches, 15 to 20 churches that we were able to secure resources for because we had a heart to give. Is it no wonder the text says, Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. What does that really mean when he's saying good measure? He's saying out of your measure, pressed down, meaning making it compact so you can put more in it. Oh, hallelujah. Shaken together, again, making it available, more room, and running over. We know that's overflow, that men will give. And so not only does men or do men give favor to you, and finances to you, they give love to you. They give forgiveness to you. And that's what God is trying to embed in your heart, my brother, my sister. If you will have a heart, which is the heart of God, to love in spite of others not deserving that love, to give in spite of them not giving, God will pour out blessings in your life. And that's your five minutes or less of living grace.